So we're standing here with this 2750 Sawyer Massey. Uh, this is one of the probably probably one of the most interesting histories that we've got for tractors that are here at the pre-30 auction. This is definitely one of the most significant tractors, kind of even in the history of tractors. It's a Canadian built 2750 Sawyer Massey that spent its early working life, when after it was built, it went to the Winnipeg trials in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and was their yard tractor for when tractors broke down out in the field, they get drugged back to the to the main, main area and worked on, and then they went back out in the field. So this tractor spent its life in, in Manitoba, and then went, in 1920, went back to Sawyer Massey in, in Ontario, re-geared, rebuilt as a 2750 from being a 2545 tractor. And they basically went through and replaced all the gearing. I mean, you can tell a lot of the gearing here, they, uh, how nice it is. I mean, it, it is just really, uh, it shows little wear. They did a great job, obviously, because they had the stock of parts at, at the time in the factory, but it is, it's truly like a brand new tractor. Ready to go, ready to plow, you could do whatever you wanted with this tractor. It's, it's really pretty phenomenal that this tractor even exists like this. Right, right, and it, after, in 1920, so it got sold uh, to, uh, just to a farmer at that point. To and a farmer, and it, the story is that it, it threshed for a few seasons up until 1930, I guess, and then after that, it. It got stored and then it went through a one or two other collectors and then went to Dome Valley in Yuma, Arizona and then uh, went back up into Canada and when that's when it got re really restored again up in Canada in the last 10 years. Right, right. And, uh, you know, one of the things that you can really, you know, kind of confirms that story is, you know, all this gearing, but along with the, the threshing. Uh, part of the story, the bull gears are in perfect condition. So uh, this, this tractor is a really neat piece of history. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and it's 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 very unique. I mean, it's got a lot of unique aspects on it. Uh, even from the uh, you know, it's got a dual exhaust, so uh, it actually has a shut off to where if you were running on kerosene, it actually has a preheater down to the carburetor, uh, and if you're running on gas, obviously you wouldn't need that, so it would just go straight up and and out. Uh, you know, and on the back here, we Let's also talk about the wheels for a second. It happens to have real rare Sawyer wheels. The wheels on on most Sawyer tractors have this big cross brace um, spoke. This happens to have re regular kind of straight spoke rear more, wheels. More more traditional style than but, than what you see yep. normally. But yeah, no, it's and it, it's really kind of special all the way around. This. <laughs> And you know, kind of one of the more interesting things too is uh, you know you're you're cranking directly on the flywheel, and it actually has these uh, you know while you're doing it, it has these dogs that engage, and that actually helps you uh, you know helps you from keeping the engine going the right way. So you know once you're coming up on compression, it, you know normally it would like to ro rock back, but uh, this gate this uh, uh, dog here would engage and keep it from doing that. Yeah, uh, hold, it holds it up against compression. is a lot easier to crank because. When you're cranking them, there's not a whole lot of room for for you to be able to pull it over. Right, back right, there. yeah, kind of short travel pulls. It's kind of neat if you look down the center of the tractor, the engine's offset to the right because all the transmission gearing's on the left and runs down the length of the tractor there. So to kind of balance out the frame a little bit, uh, yeah. And then as you can see, right right in front of you when you're operating, you've got uh, your oilers there, uh, which are really kind of a neat setup. You know, a lot of them. A lot of uh, tractors of that age, they had, you know, the big mechanical big lubricant. Mechanical. This so th this is a full kind of drip system. So you can have each each little drip. Uh, you can visually see they're working and adjust each one. This has got a gear pump down in the bottom that runs in a hard pipe up into that manifold plenum and then drips down and so you can adjust each different um, point for the amount of oil you want. Right, so if you're, whether you're doing plowing work, it would right. be different from uh, threshing work, you know. That yeah. and the main bearings need more than the, the, the connecting rods need. And Right, right. So all around, just a kind of a neat tractor and uh, with a great history, one that uh, is is kind of a, one of the probably more historical, like you said, Absolutely. tractors that are here. This will be a very neat tractor to see, so.